What's up, everybody? Andrew Mahone here with Natalie Champagne, and we are going to be playing a game on PTCGO. But before I get started, I want to show off these dope new stickers that I just got in for oh, yeah. my Etsy store. I am so excited about these. Natalie and I both got them all over our binders, yes. all over our stuff. I even put one on my car. You see, they look great on this stuff. You can find them in my Etsy store. I'm selling them as a sticker pack. You get all three of these dope stickers for 10 bucks in the Etsy store. Check it out. But on with the gameplay. Let's get right down to it. I'm super stoked about the deck that we are playing today. We are playing Lucario Lycanroc. This is a deck that finished, what, two in the top 32? Yeah at the Portland Regional Championships. Just did, a deck profile on it. just did a deck profile on it. This is Mike Pramwatt's list, I believe. And both Mike Pramwatt and Rahul Reddy finished in the top 32 with this deck. I think it's a really cool, unique list. I like what it's got going on. It plays Super Scoop Up, which is definitely awesome. Yeah. Love that. Love Super Scoop Up as a card, and I think it pairs really well with both Lucario and Lycanroc. I love the idea of being able to reuse Lycanroc's Bloodthirsty Eyes. We got Regirock as a start, where we play like two Regirock in yes. here as well so to help us hit some numbers. We can hit 190. We can hit 210. We can hit all sorts of crazy stuff with this deck. That Aura Strike can really get up there with its damage output. Now, it looks like we are playing against Duskmane Magnazone. All right. Did this deck have a finish at Portland? I thought I remember hearing I think, or that it did, I maybe. It, no, I think it was Charlotte. Had a finish. Oh, it was a Zorark it Duskmane, though. Oh, okay. Zorark Magnazone. Got sure. it. Okay. Some One of the most recent regional championships, I'm pretty sure this deck did get a finish, which is cool for all the Duskman fans out there. I know there are many, myself included. I'm trying to play this deck. Why doesn't anybody understand me? Okay, so we are rocking and rolling here. First of all, we're going to slap that float stone on the red rock, and then I think we're going to ultra ball away a float stone and a Lucario. Mm. That was my thought process. Would you ditch a supporter? I think so. You play... Not enough supporters in here is my answer to that. I don't. I really it's don't think there's a lot. Okay, that's good. We got that's two good. Lucarios in deck and a Rescue Stretcher. Yeah. I'm feeling okay about that. Yeah, it's fine. I think I'm going to go in with the, the that guy, the Riolu. Yep. Yeah. And then hopefully we Cynthia and hit ourselves a Brooklet Hill. That'd be fantastic. Brooklet Hill really helps get this deck set up. Yes. Oh, there she is. Brooklyn Hill, bump that stadium, and now we're going to be able to go get a rod. I think Remoraid, yeah, way more Remoraid. important to get this deck set up and rolling here. We also have a fighting energy, which I'll probably just slap onto my Riolu there, I just to there. yeah, just to get it started. Slash, claw slash doesn't knock it out. And then so. I don't think, I mean, I could promote the Riolu, but there's really no point in doing that. I think I'm just going to keep the flow stoned. Regirock active. Hope that my opponent doesn't knock it out. I could just slap this Reggie Rock down though in case I get end or something. That feels fine. And let's go ahead and pass. I think I am going to need these Reggie Rocks to help hit, not, especially that Solgaleo looks scary. So what? Uh, Aura Strike can do 120 damage. If we have a strong, that's 140. Yep. 140, and then the two Reggie Rock. Choice band and then 190. But I'm just saying against oh, the Solgaleo. Solgaleo yep. We would need both Reggie Rock to knock out the Can't Solgaleo. Out. You don't want to knock him out. You just want Guzma. <laughs> We do want a Guzma, but from the looks of this hand, we're probably trying to knock out the Solgaleo there. So, Natalie, what are your impressions of this deck? What do you think about it? I like it. I saw people talking about it before Portland, and um, I think the best placing Lucario deck was the Lucario Zoroark, though. Okay. He got top, there's a guy who got top eight, I believe, with that. Lucario Zoroark. Yeah, yeah, I think I like that version of the deck, too. I like that... You have trade to draw more cards, but I do love that Brooklet Hill just drives with this list so well. Right. This, Reggie Rock is great too. Um, yeah, this and then Christopher Schmansky's uh Lucario, he played Lucario with like catchers and a bunch of other fun stuff in that too. That was the other one that placed in the top thirty two. I think I think that was it to my to my knowledge of anything different. All right. So we've got a couple copies of N here. I think I'm just gonna go in yeah. with that N. And my opponent was able to use Radiant Star to start to set up one of their benched Dusk Mains. That's a little scary. So if I do go ahead and knock this thing out, then my opponent will just be able to punish me with the Sun's Eclipse GX. So that might not be the best thing to do. I have an Ultra Ball here. So we are going to the, uh, we're going to go to the uh, Octillery Store 
and get ourselves <laughs> an octillery. Uh, but Guzma. what's Ultra Ball away? You think, well, obviously, one Guzma. Probably either the choice band or the fighting energy feels like. I the, but I can play the choice, choice band. band. I think the Guzma and the fighting energy. Yeah, you already have an energy down right now. And you'll probably, yeah, I think that's fine. Yeah, so I think we're going to go with those. We're going to go to the Octillery store, and we're going to go Abyssal shopping yeah. <laughs> for some more cards. All right, so that's one. That was just the one energy down. Yeah. Cool. So Hopefully we'll do that. that I think nice. I played the Choice Band, and a Rock Ruff would be really good. Let's go ahead and see what we can do. We've got, yep, yep, yep Not now. Those. All right, so we are going to go ahead and pass again with the good old Reggie Rock in the active. See what my opponent does about that see that we did kind of stall out a little bit here. I guess I could have Ultra Balled away the Lycanroc and played the energy, but and that would have allowed me to Abyssal for one more card, but it felt like I had already Ultra Balled away the one Lucario, and I didn't really want to get rid of my one Lycanroc either, right. and then really depend heavily on trying to hit that last uh, or that one rescue stretcher. Yeah, you only play one. So. Exactly. So I didn't really want to have to depend on that. You got to imagine, yeah, my opponent, they're just cruising now. They've yeah, got the whole deck. The Lucario. engine is set up. They are ready to go. <clears throat> this is pretty much a disaster here. However, uh, at least they can't GX me, but what does the GX matter when they got Magnazone in play? This is just no good. So they take my Reggie Rock out. They go up two prizes. I mean, what in the world can I even do about this? It just feels bad, man. That's a start. I mean, that definitely helps. I think that I'm going to go ahead and get, get the... What What do you get think? get another real... Uh, no, I think I, I need to GX yeah, them. Yeah, it's probably fine. So yeah, I'll get yeah, the no, Rock right. Ruff. And then I'm going to attach the Floatstone to my active. Ugh. And I think... I, oh goodness, this is this is bad. I, and I could try to maybe corner them if I get the cards that I need. Right. I think we abyssal once and then Lily. Yep, yeah. I think we kind of have to. Yeah, so let's see what we get off the abyssal. You might be able to get a better supporter. Yeah, we got our one here. I think what do I corner the magnazone? You could corner the magnazone. I could corner the magnazone. I feel like that's not like the worst the thing I've ever right heard of. Eh, I'm fine with it. Yeah, yep. it's fine. They can't knock out both these things. I mean, odds are I'm not going to Lily for, you know, two cards and really get right. the things no, that I need. Right, no, it's not going to help you so, that much. This way you have one attacker, hopefully, next turn, no matter what. Now, they can go ahead. Oh, giving me the heart there. I mean, they can go ahead and just Guzma out. They are going to Guzma out, which I actually prefer. Oh, boy, that hurts. Okay. Oof. Yep, woof. That's actually really bad. So I think they're just in... Yeah, they just have it. Like, they're cool. I don't think that there's anything I can do to prevent them. I mean, this thing, what? It does top out at 200 damage, so I can bring up my opponent's Duskmane here on the bench and knock it out with my Lycanroc. That's, yeah. like, a reasonable thing to do, I guess. So let's try to do that. And then I think I need to Ultra Ball. Did I already get rid of my Lele? No. Um, no, I think he still had it. So I Check can... Check discard real quick. Yeah, I'm going to bring him up. And then I do have nice my Lele, so I think I Ultra Ball, get the Lele. N. And then N. Yep, that's the maneuver here. So I am going to grab this, and let's do make ourselves sure a Brooklet. Yeah, make sure I do have an N in deck. I do have two. So I'll go get an, what, a Ryolu seems okay, a Rockruff seems okay, so I could super scoop up and bring up something else. I actually think I'll go with that. None of these guys can get knocked out, you know? True. Like, yeah. they definitely, none of them can get knocked out. So that's that's the game plan. Let's lay, lay. Let's go get ourselves the end. And then before we end, we're going to Abyssal for some cards, I think. Yeah, yep, yeah, because yeah, we're going to get yep, a fat four draw for here. And alrighty, we did not get ourselves the energy yet. You but can try super scoop up that Ryolu. I could try to. I feel like you have to. I think I probably have to. Just in, if you miss just it, you in lose, case. Oh, for right. Sure. So let's try to super scoop up. Oh, we got him. Busted. Yeah. Okay, so that's actually kind of a cute yeah. little play. Don't mind that at all. There's that. We're going to put the Ryolu back down. And then I probably just slam some of these choice yeah, bands around here because out. I need to thin my deck out. And let's end my opponent down to two cards. Now, they are going to be able to promote their Solgaleo and hit me 
but so long as they don't have a Guzma or something. Two scoop ups. I'm probably fine. I got two scoop ups in here, and they could potentially go in with Ryulu to knock out the Solgaleo, but then I would also need a rescue stretcher. Oh, I need both Regirock back out too. That's never happening. So that is a little bit rough, but I mean, we'll ask these questions later you can get when the we get there. Back out. I mean, you would. You have Brooklyn Hill. I do have Brooklyn Hill. I think you've already taken out two of their dangerous clients. rogue GX. All right, so. We got there with the Dangerous Rogue. Four choice band feels like a lot, but yeah. I mean, I guess I see it just to boost damage. I mean, we have a lot of damage modifiers in this deck, right? which is pretty cool just to be able to hit some of those big numbers, especially since I don't believe we're playing Field Blower, right? Um, no. No. So no. I don't think we're playing Field Blower. Does my opponent have like a Sycamore? Oh, yeah, they do. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, they do. They're just shredding off of that end of two. I mean, but that that happens. That's the game. That is how it goes. So they great draws by my opponent. Can they go ahead and power up this thing? If they got a stadium too, they are in the monies. So they should be good to go. I have to imagine by the fact that they are powering that thing up that they probably just have the stadium slam that thing down and show me good game. If that's the case, we'll try up. Oh, no, they're diversifying. They don't have it. They're just going to hit me for like 190 field blower. Okay, we do have one choice ban left, but I feel like at this point I need like another N. You know what we're going to try and do? The scoop up. Scoop up the Lele. All right, we need to scoop up both the Lycanroc and the Lele probably. Oh, no, my opponent is just accelerating. That is a heads up play by my opponent. Definitely mm -hmm. don't mind that. I still feel like we need to go for the scoop up. Lele maneuver though. Yeah. I don't think that there is like really another feasible out. So let's see what we can do. Can we get a Lele? That's one tails. Can we do it? Nope. Both no. tails. So that is not good. I don't think that my opponent has too many energy in hand, right? Check their discard. I mean, they probably do not have energy None in discount, hand. Probably, right? Yeah, no. All right. So. What if I, I don't know, what if I like Guzma and try to corner something? Can I do that? I mean, how many Guzma? Guzma they have Only one Guzma one. down. Mm -hmm. Odds of that sticking are pretty low, but it is an option. Then they would need Guzma to win the game. But they do have to discard. I feel like there are no other really vali valid options here. I could just try to, I mean, attacking this thing feels bad. So let's just try to see if we can finesse. <laughs> All right. We are going to Guzma the Magnazone. <laughs> corner time. And it is corner town. Here we go. We're going to also probably Brooklet and grab what, the Buzzwall? Sure. Sure. <laughs> you know, and we're going to see if maybe we can just take some things out with that Buzzwall eventually. And then let's just corner it and see what we can do. Maybe my opponent doesn't have the juice. Maybe they've got Energy Guzma in hand. They got Energy Guzma in hand, and they were going to win regardless of <laughs> what, what did. I did. So I felt like this probably had the, yep, oh, here we go. That hurts. Yep. And the Sogalio wins it. They didn't even need the energy. The Lele got there. So good game to my opponent. Man, I just got stuck. Stunted on. I did not feel like I was doing too hot that game at all. No. But I think that perhaps we could do another game. Let's just roll into another roll one. Roll in one more. See if we can give this deck a little bit of a better showing here. I do think that the deck has potential, but obviously with a deck like Duskman Magnazone, if that deck gets up and rolling, right. yeah, what can you really do? to slow that thing down. I mean, it's just taking 200 and what, 220, 230 damage? 220 damage, choice bands, 250 damage every turn. Looks like we were playing against, I don't know. What do you think that was? That could be, uh, this could be the Hoopa deck. Could be the Hoopa deck, could be Golisopod. Do we oh, just- Oh, duh, yeah, this is grass. This is Golisopod, yeah. So, do we just lose to the Hoopa deck though? The attacking Hoopa. You can, uh, you can use Ryolu. We can use Ryolu too. Strong and, and ooh, strong. Um, and Reggie Rocks. Yeah. Does, yeah. It, well, does he attack to 20 or 10? I think it does 10. Oh, it does 10? It uh -huh. was to 20 with two Reggie Rocks. 30. Knocking out, but so 10, 30 with a strong. Yeah. And then what? 40, 50. Oh, we're just short enough. Just short. Yeah, yeah. That's unfortunate. But the attacking Hoopa deck is pretty cool. I actually think it has a pretty decent set of matchups. So 
Maybe we should build the attacking Hoopa deck. Maybe we what can do you do think? An attacking Hoopa deck. It's I would point. love to build the attacking Hoopa yeah, deck. Yeah, do we have Hoopas? I yes. Yeah, we yeah, should yes. definitely have some Hoopas. I know I don't have any on my account. For okay. Reason. I, I have plenty of Hoopas. Yeah. And I would Oh, oh. pump faked. Completely Decidui. pump faked. Dude, Decidui, this seems like a little bit of a sketchy matchup. I think two hundred and forty yeah. is like outside our realm of yeah. damage output. Except for, except yes, for, uh, I would like to draw a card. Sure, I'll put down that Ryolu. That's fine. Oh, and we got nice. a Lele. Okay, so I don't you attach think, to the active, I think. I do think I attach to the active. They're I don't not think... gonna. They're only attacked out. It's like Lele, Lele which won't even knock me out. And if they promote a Lele, they they could be in a world Quite of pain. Island. Of pain. So I think I'm gonna just throw that choice band down. We play four, just thin my deck. Right. You know that just makes the most sense. And then ooh, we could. Nah, there's no real point in playing the Lily there. Let me get you five cards. Let's just, just up go your in with a Cynthia and try to refresh things. See what I do. If I had something like maybe a Lucario GX in my hand or yeah. an Octillery in my hand instead of maybe the Guzma or the Kokoi, that's the kind of hand you really go in for on sure. Lily and you just go for those turn two evolvements. And all right, so that's uh, that's it. Yep, <laughs> gonna pass it on over to Mr. Graydon Ten. See what Graydon has got in store for us with that Zorark GX Decidueye deck. I like this deck a lot. It's a little disheartened to see Espeon Garb finish first and second at the Portland Regional Championships. I'm not a big Espeon Garbador fan, but I gotta give credit to the deck. Okay. It, it was a good call. It was a good call for that tournament, especially with all the Lucario GX hype and the fact that Buzzwool was hyped as well, right. having come off that strong, what, Charlotte it won finish? Charlotte. Yeah, won, winning Charlotte. So coming off of that strong showing at Charlotte, it was both the finals in the Charlotte as well, right? Yeah, it was a, it was a Buzzwool mirror. Buzz yeah, Rock. Buzzwool, Buzz Rock mirror in the finals. Now we've got an Espeon mirror in the finals. Makes sense. These decks are getting hard countered, and I feel like... That kind of is the trend in the Pokemon trading card game is that we always see decks getting hard countered. I mean, people love to play counters rather than to just play the deck that everybody considers to be the best deck. So let's see what we got here. I can just uh, jab a Zerua for knockout, but that feels a little underwhelming. Yeah. I feel like I should probably start evolving things. Yeah. But then I don't really want to evolve things. I don't know. I feel like maybe Jabzerua is fine, but hmm. what are what what really could I get going? And I could find a Buzzwool potentially. I would attach, Then I have to retreat. If you jab, if you jab, I would attach the strong to the bench. And that's what I'm saying. Well. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah mm -hmm. I like that. I think that's fine. I think it's fine. Like I probably get knocked out, but if I get knocked out, then I probably just return with my own. So I'm just gonna do that. Try to prevent my opponent from drawing as much as I can, and then go from there. So we're taking a prize. He's only got a three-card hand. He's only got a three-card so hand. That is cool. But my biggest concern about that is that I don't have Octillery out or anything like that. But I, the weird thing about this deck is that you don't really want to evolve up into your Lucarios, right? Because right. you have to wait until your opponent puts up something big that you really want to damage uh, Lucario with so I would have also liked to have gotten maybe a rock rough down on the bench but the I could have Cynthia and attach the strong to the active potentially we don't know if he plays Mewtwo or Mew which he probably does but there's like no way he really one shots you so you can I mean you should get a, a GX attack in with this with Lucario at some point let's just say my opponent had a busted three card they hand they card had hand. rare candy decidueye Zorark, Cynthia so they're four cards right rare candy decidueye Zorark, Cynthia busted four they cards one of those. they were sitting on a golden hand they do, they did top deck one of those so maybe if they just top decked the one of uh you know the one uh the the Cynthia, maybe if they top decked the rare candy. The rare candy. Either yeah. way, that was... <laughs> That's insane. So it would be interesting to hear whatever my opponent top decked there. But that is an amazing start. Mm -hmm. And they got the knockout on the Riolu. I can knock out this Lele, though. That right. is not unheard of. So I just need to draw pretty decently. I'm going to promote the Remoraid and slap the Floatstone on there. And, oh, Perfect. that is good. So let's do that. And then I think, what, we just get the Lucario? I, see you get I think I get Octillery. Yeah, and, that feels uh, the best. 
I'll get rid of N and, and Choice Band. band. Yeah. Yep. You need to draw uh, as many cards as possible. I agree. So, so let's get rid of those. We're going to get Octillery here. Throw that onto my rod, my hot rod. <laughs> and then I think I'm just going to attach slap, the Choice Band, the choice band onto the Lele yeah. and then Abyssal first. Yes. Yep. And then let's see how we do here. It does kind of bother me that we do not play any copies of that we do not play any copies of Sycamore in this deck. I feel like Yeah, I feel like you could use some. You definitely could use some. If I had gotten maybe an Ultra Ball or a, a guy there or a Lucario, Kukoi, I could have Kukoid, yeah. Um right, but Cynthia. let's just we got a Cynthia Hail Mary here. Can we get what we need? Answer is no. Nah. Definitely gonna have to wait till next turn there, guy. All right. So, Brooklet Hill. Let's see what do we do when we go Brooklet shopping. We probably get oh didn't get an goodness energy. didn't even get an energy. All of these options feel bad. Oh my goodness, this deck just goes to Whiff Town all the time. I don't know about it. <laughs> I'm right. feeling feeling a little bit like the the four Cynthia engine is like not my cup of tea, not at all. I need to hard draw with Sycamore right. sometimes to make like on turns where it's like make or break the game. If I right. whip this, I lose. You Sycamore those supporters away. You go for it. Let's see here. So, damage control. We're probably going to get out a Reggie Rock. That feels fine. I probably will end up needing it to hit some numbers. And then let's send down another Riolu as well, just in case my opponent knocks my one out. Because I'm probably just going to have to detect. Like, ugh, that feels bad. But I... who else do I promote? Everything feels bad. Yeah. So I think I just have to promote it. I don't know. Yeah, I guess We're so. going for it. Detect. Oh, yeah. I don't know. You might have wanted to promote the other one because he, they, he won't be able to knock it out without two feather arrows. That's true. I mean, or an energy. You know, an energy. But they don't play a lot of energy. And they are going to have two feather arrows regardless. I mean, they're going to have... I have to imagine that should, they will. Should get some, but... Like, but then I think, like, the, the thing is, is that I'm already so behind on this game right. that if I hit the detect there, that... I potentially save myself a lot of trouble. Right. So I think like I was just taking that wager. Like I'm uh, that whiff already hurts so bad. Yeah. That I'm okay. You know what's another whiff at this point? Right. <laughs> it was just like you know I at least give myself a fifty percent chance of really being in this game, but that whiff just hurts all the more. Uh, my opponent's got two decidues out and their Zork. I mean I felt like. Maybe I took the whole deck on the wrong path and we went with that early Guzma, that, but that felt fine at the time. I don't think you wanted to evolve, really. I didn't want to evolve. I mean, I could have maybe cynthia and hit a Rock Ruff and maybe an Octillery and just kind of sat. Maybe I go double energy onto the Riolu in the active just to get that one knockout. Mm -hmm. That's probably the more stable no, play. No, he, he would have had the uh, return. He would have had an easy knockout. Yeah, yeah. he had the return knockout. So... Yeah, I don't really know. Hmm. It's, a, it's a tough call either way. I kind of like diversifying my energy just to, you know, make things a little more safe. But obviously, it's not very safe if you don't set up the things you need to do. Now, my opponent, they do have two Decidueye out. They got a Lele in the active. They're down to four prizes. I got five prizes. I can make up the difference right here and take the lead if I can just pull the cards that I need to pull in order to pull this knockout. So... We're going to go grab probably the other Reggie Rock, right? Yeah, yeah, that yeah. makes it so you only need a choice band. All right, no, he actually doesn't make a difference. No. So I think we actually have to get another Riolu. Oh, so because right now I'm at 120, 130. Oh no, I do need it, right? No. 120, uh, 140. Oh no, I still just need the choice band. Choice band. Yep. So let's uh, let's get the other Riolu. That or Buzzwool, I say. But that or Buzzwool. Because you could soften up some Decidueyes, but eh, I could soften up Decidueyes. Um, With one Riolu, I feel like I just want it, though. Yeah, I yeah, get the Riolu. Yeah, yeah, I agree. We Alternatively, we can go in with Buzzwool and kind of just say, like, well, you know, if uh, let's... Uh, oh, boy. We could go with Buzzwool and be like, we're going to hit some super scoop-ups, guys, and try yeah. to just jet punch. That might be next turn's thing, though. Yeah. Um, I... I think I sent the. You might Cynthia this time. I think I'm going to send the uh, really Ultra Ball. Balls. Haven't seen any Ultra Balls. Oh, there there's go. one. Okay, so we got there with an Ultra Ball, but we don't have the knockout yet. We're going to need a couple of things. So I think we Ultra Ball away the. I probably should have tried to rip that Super Scoop up first. 
the Guzma and the fighting energy. Oh, that's a lot of energy down. Yeah. But I think we have to. Rock and then rough. we go uh, in the rock rough. Yeah, that's yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You don't I have was, any energy recovery. You're right. Yep. So we need to get that. We need to do that. And then... I think I need to try and hit the super scoop up and take the choice band off the Lele. Yes. Oh, yeah. Let's do it. Oh, goodness. It hurts so good. All right. That's bad. Let's see. We're going to have to go here. And we're going to have to abyssal for three big ones. See what we can do. Shake and bake. Didn't get there. Okay. So we can bring up the... Oh, we can do the lichen rock though yes. right I, yep as so long as it's in there <laughs> as long as the lichen rock is in there which i have no idea i think i have to take the ultra ball and the buzz wall oh goodness uh no we're gonna do fighting energy That's okay fine, I think. yep let's take these guys out and the lichen rock is prized yep should have known that but you know I had to check. I didn't actually look for the Lake of Rock, so I admit that is my fault. We are just hitting into this thing for a classic. Not enough, but we have to hit, yeah. and then we have to hope that my opponent can't knock it out or something. So let's just R a strike here. Let's hope they whiff the knockout. They need a lot. They do need a lot. They need to do 190 damage. They've got to float. Oh, boy. This is another way they could deal with the Lucario, but they would need... Three feather arrows? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so, oh, uh, here it comes. So long as they got either one piece, either rare candy or decidueye, they're going to devolve this Lucario. But that's okay. I've got Buzzwool. Buzzwool can knock out the Lele on the bench. But, and my opponent's only actually taking one prize yeah, off that's this. Right. Mm -hmm. So I actually prefer that. But you can see here. This is why I love playing the Parallel City in all my fighting decks. Like, when an opponent just gets this kind of setup on you, it is just so brutal having to deal with all these different options. If I could parallel my opponent right now, what would they remove? Right. Like, this is why Parallel City is, what I feel like, just so necessary in all fighting decks because you cannot just have your opponent having all their options. I mean, even if they just have to remove two things from that bench right now, those two things are both devastating for them to remove. The Espeon or be it the Zoroark or Decidueye, a whole Decidueye would be insane. So they do get the knockout there, but I also get my Lucario back. So right. that is pretty cool. And I do get to keep my floatstone, so I have my free retreater here to promote for the upcoming turn. I also have an end, so I can end my opponent. Let's put, see here. I think we're gonna end up putting that buzzwall down. Yeah, yeah, I like. Yeah, I like putting the buzzwall down just to have it as an option. And then I am putting my artillery down, and probably the Lucario as well. Yes. And we're just gonna go from there. Alternatively, I could just knock out the Lele, but I think I save that for some point later in the. Game. I would evolve and see. Or I could evolve Abyssal and then maybe Kakui for knockout. Yeah, I would see what you hit first. I would, so I would Let's evolve would see. and then Abyssal and then see what we're working with. And if we hit, obviously, like strong choice, then we just end. Well, so we're doing 120, 130, 160 right now. So none of that helps. I could Guzma, the Zoroark, which actually feels okay. You do Guzma. Yeah, I, could, I like that. I actually like that. I feel like that gives me a guaranteed play here. Right. That or I attach and... Oh, I can't get the Lycan Rock. Yeah, so I feel like we definitely go Guzma here and just take that thing out. I think so. It's super annoying to have to work around, so I like that. I play Scoop Ups in the deck if my opponent takes another knockout. I Unless my opponent max potions that Lele, I'll always have that there for right. Buzzwall to clean up. And you got the Lycan Rock. We got some great rips off of this. Now, if my opponent does miss the knockout on this Lucario, keep in mind that we can also GX for an insane amount of really damage. They don't have a way to knock it out. I don't think that they do. So they could go like triple feather arrow, devolve the octillery, would be annoying. They could yeah. go triple feather, feather arrow, rock rough, would also be annoying. Bring themselves down to two prizes. But if they do that... You know, maybe yeah. oh, they are going for the Octillery. That's a fair play. I actually don't mind that at all on my opponent's side. But that means that they're just going up with the Espeon again, meaning that I can maneuver down to just one prize remaining. Mm -hmm. And if they can't take their final two prizes after an end here, 
and they don't have their Zoroark in play, right. then they could get stuck. They did just Sycamore a bunch of supporters there. Let me see their, uh, let they, me see their card. they could get a little stuck Four here. Four Ultra Ball. Four Ultra Ball down. Sycamore and Mallows. Three down. Cynthia down. I'm not sure if they play Max Potion. They might not play a Max Potion. Um, Do rip their field blower mallows, there, but that field blower doesn't really matter to me at all. I probably am going to save my Super Scoop up just to try and heal something. A oh, little. They oh, they. No. Oh, yeah, they play Max Potion. Got to play Max Potion in a Decidueye deck. That's so good. Oh, yeah. So that is really, really strong for them. And they got the Grass Energy onto a Decidueye. That's fantastic for them. They are going to take. That actually is pretty busted. That, helps. that actually like really helps the whole Riolu situation. So I don't mind that at all. My opponent just giving me kind of the free busted evolution there so i do like that let's throw this brooklet down see what we got in the deck i have another reggie rock so that's actually kind of good and i feel like at this point we kind of just go grab it and then i yeah. can evolve and then i'm doing what i'm still not doing enough right i'm doing 160 yeah. oh my goodness but you want it in the deck oh and i could kukui but i probably want to end them but what i feel like at this point i'm just going for Guzma or Lycanroc game on the Lele. I think yeah. you need to take I the knockout. I need to take the knockout. So let's just get the Kakui Lycanroc onto the Lele. Yeah. Or do yeah, I, I so. or I just take out the Espeon because they could triple feather on my rock rough. Right. So I don't want to allow them to do that. So I think I don't I think I just take the Regirac. That's fine. And then I think I go here and I think I have to, um, I think then, yes. I think you I think you definitely Lycanroc the Lele because if he devolves again and knocks out your Lycanroc, you can evolve into Lucario uh -huh. and hopefully knock it out. They, he would need a DC and he could he could always raise it. He could go Guzma on That's my. That's his win condition. Right. So I But think he's got a couple DCE down, I think. He's got a couple DCE down, right. He would need a lot to pull that off. So I think I go attach the strong here. Mm -hmm. Let's Kakui. See what we get. Um, well, we should have Kakui'd before we attach the strong, but that's it's whatever. That's Oops. Okay. Oops. And then let's play the Evo Soda and fail it. Um, done. And then I believe we are going to... Let's see. I think we kind of have to evolve this. Yeah, you have to bring up the Lele, I think. And prevent my opponent from taking that prize. Right? That feels good. I think. Yeah. I think you want to try to get him to devolve again. Okay. I don't know. So, yeah, that's sure. That's probably the move. Let's try it. I don't know what else you would be, what you would do. I mean, I could. I, and I think they're going to knock that out. Um, so, they yeah. game if that's the case. So, you may as well just yeah. try to. Let's just try to aura strike here. Knock this thing out. Can. We've got N next turn, 180 damage. That's pretty good. I just need a Guzma here, and I have, uh, you know, with an energy. Yep. Yeah, so I do have an energy here if I can finally get Guzma. I do have an opportunity to scoop up this Lele. So they need DC Guzma, and they've got game here on my Reggie Rock. But we are running this thing back pretty close. All things considered, definitely not you, uh, disappointed. You can you can win here if you if he doesn't have it. Oh, for sure I can win because it's got the two Reggie Rocks, yeah. and then just the attachment here. But I can't knock out a decidue. I have to assume that he would at least hollow hunt. So yeah, true. He would promote that. I would have to go scoop up Lele, <laughs> Lele, Lele Guzma. <laughs> Guzma game. Oh, they got the DC. Do they also yeah, have Guzma? These so decks they do not. Really slow rolling they you. are slow rolling me. Mm -hmm. I don't. They don't have it. They do not have it. So I could have it, but we'll have to see. I don't know what the best way to go about this is if I don't end up. They have one Guzma down. Usually these decks only run two Guzma. They're going to Sycamore into their deck, and then they only have four cards left in deck. So that is not a lot. So if I end them to two, I'm really not even limiting them all that much. They're gonna start sniping yeah, they that Reggie draw. Rock. They don't so have any draw. They really need just why they why is he sniping the Reggie Rock? I don't know why don't he's like sniping that. the Reggie Rock. I think like probably 
Uh, I don't know, because if I knock out the Espeon, I win. So if I knock out anything, I win. Oh, they're hollow hunting. Yeah. So they're just going to go get their Guzma now and say, all right, either you got it or you don't. So that, okay, that's that's you fine. You know, you scoop up and hope you hit the, the Lele. If not, you're just going to have to end him. I mean, like, he's only going yep. to get two cards. Yep. All right, the Lele, the Max Potion, I like it. Okay. Let's see here. Yep. Do we get there? Oh, yeah. Yes. Give me that. Give me that, Lele. Here we go. All right, Lele, come on. <laughs> yes. And we have got that last game winning Guzma here. Slap that. A float strong, strong energy floatstone. We have got it. So let's do that. Let's do that. And then let's Guzma up the Espeon. Free retreat and Regirac retreat, and then we've got a what a somersault kick. Somersault? Is that what? It... No, it's not somersault it's kick. It's else. some other kick. But anyways, <laughs> oh yeah, we got there. <laughs> right back. Insanity ran it back. My opponent did not have the game winning Guzma, so we got there with the Cario GX's final attack. There, glad we were able to actually show off some pretty good games with that deck. Obviously, still learning how to play it. That was literally our first two, two games. games with that deck ever so you guys kind of just saw that there as well like i said this is michael pramawat uh it's his list from the portland regional championship so if you guys want to try that out it belongs to him and have fun all right so thank you all for watching the video make sure to check us out on twitter at enjoy friend and at natakazam enjoy friend Thank you all for watching. Also, make sure to check out the links in the description below. We've got those sweet stickers. <laughs> awesome. Thank you guys so much. Peace.